long shit talking session. <laughs> I, I have a little I have a little list here in the of all the people hairs. I wanted to fucking take down, and mm -hmm. I got that out of my system. That way, I don't have to air it on the podcast. And uh, they're you gonna know, get mad at us. They want, that's first, the content first people want. Get mad. Maybe that's a tease, Adam. Yeah, a little broadcast. Maybe you trick. don't know how to play the audience. <laughs> yeah, like I do, like well, a little anyway. fucking marionette. <laughs> <laughs> the clown prince yeah. strikes again. <laughs> they call me Strike Strike Zone. <laughs> when was the last time anyone has done a marionette show? Like, do people still go and watch people do puppetry? Yeah, I mean, there's people that go to fucking like elementary schools mm -hmm. and do that shit all the time. Oh, I guess that's true. But that didn't that used to be like grown? Pe I guess that's before. Yeah, like TV. in the old West, people would go like watch a marionette show. In Japan, they do that. They Actually, do that? you know what? Hey, when I was a no, little kid, no, sorry, I'm thinking of where the the strings are. They tie the woman's hands behind her back. And what's they all the come classic the like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's right. the classic? That that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's the marionette show about? Like uh, where a guy just beats his wife, Punch and Judy. Is that oh, Judy it? Punch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a just bar. a guy like just yeah, beating, that's a bit. beating his, that wife. his wife like <laughs> asks are, like, for help or people are like this is nicely. hilarious. Yeah. This is gold. Well there's there's actually I, I would when I was a little kid and I went to Greece once, um, they had sh a shadow puppetry thing. This thing called oh, Karagozi, yeah. and it was just like some fucking. I think it was very racist. And no, it was that's just, just like, television in Greece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do Mad Men like that. But it, it's like it's they're like two D things that they fucking and it's just every character is racist and uh, you know they make fun of uh, Jews. They're, oh yeah, oh yeah. There's a Jew character. Damn, I'm gonna look this up. Was that he Palestinian children show where they had Mickey Mouse? Yeah, they have. They, like they a, don't like respect copyrights in Palestine. <laughs> yeah, no, they like. Which is the only problem I have with Palestine. <laughs> They use that they for they design respect propaganda. intellectual property. <laughs> Look, if you if you live in Gaza and you're stealing our podcast, yeah. I hope you get fucking bulldozed. <laughs> There's like a suicide bomber Elmo. I hope you end up in some fucking caterpillar treads. In fact, I'm going to make a toast for my soda stream <laughs> to your uh, let's podcast stealing death. Let's break out the Sabra, boys. Yeah, yeah. I, I disagree with all that. I'm bondage divest fully. Um, well... You know, oh, uh, bond I keep saying bondage divest. I'm uh, boycott divest. Oh yeah, that bondage. was an accident and not a bit that you. No, I did it accidentally the other day, and, and no, my friend was like, "Oh, he's just doing a bit," and I was like, "Yeah, I was BDSM. Is that your bit?" BDSM. So I you mean, did it by you letters. did it by accident yesterday, and now you're repeating it as a bit. No, I legitimately did it. No, by no accident yesterday yeah. you did no, it by yeah, accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're no, repeating right. the and accident. with plausible. Now you have plausible deniability. You think Why? you have plausible? No, deniability I just keep saying it for a bit that's bombing. Bondage yeah. sounds uh, pretty bad, you know. You know, it, it would be pretty good if I had said BDSM. Uh, if I had done a BDS BDSM joke, yeah. it would have gone over well. Yeah, it's because true. Because I've got that timing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, fuck. It's all funny they call thing, me guys. the timist. Oh, hell uh, yeah. Today, dude. I didn't mention it before because I wanted to do it on the pod, but I saw one of those guys on one of those one-wheel hoverboards, yeah. like nice. the gyroscope hoverboard, and he just, I was walking my dog, he just gyro, he just hoverboarded past me, and I he was on the phone on like a Bluetooth headset, and the one thing I caught him say was like, no, nah, but seriously, I would like to secure permanent employment. <laughs> 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 Just as he was like zooming through the, <laughs> it's yeah. so funny. Oh, you can only buy those with EBT cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I I'm tired of welfare in queens <laughs> with their fucking unicycles. <laughs> <laughs> it was electric they're trying, unicycle. They're getting the little clown cars. They're all getting in them all at once to drive yeah. to the fucking uh, fur store. To buy crystal. Well, it was funny when those came out, the like the hoverboards or whatever. You're like, hmm, who are these for? And then after a week, you're like, oh, that's who. <laughs> and then they immediately banned them on the train. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. imagine if white businessmen were riding those, and yeah. the MTA would be like, please, here's parking for your yeah, hoverboard yeah. <laughs> on the train. <laughs> They take out the fucking. They take out the handicap seats to put to make racks to, 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 <laughs> yeah, say, yeah, yeah. to have them on. I've been listening to the Brian Lehrer show on on NPR. Do you guys l ever listen to that? Bitch, uh, I already listened to all of them years ago. So, but no, um, no, no, no. But I actually I only listen on Fridays because De Blasio comes on every Friday, mm -hmm. and uh, they let anyone call in and ask him questions. I call just, him De Blah Blah Blah. Yo. It, oh, yeah. People yeah, just yell at him on Fridays. It's so funny. People. Are like, 
like, Maya de Blasio, maybe you should stop having a black wife and make the trains work. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, all right, we're going to take another call. <laughs> yeah, they do make a good point. It's so good. It yeah. does. Why do the trains suck so much dick here, dude? Wait, is it Cuomo's fault? I don't get it. People you guys want me to Cuomo. drop some real train knowledge? Oh, oh shit. Hit us that with wasn't it. even set up, but go ahead. Hit us with it. All right, um, I'm going to put. I'm gonna go, uh, yeah, we could all leave for the next 40 minutes and yeah. would be, this podcast would be due fine. Well, the thing is, is that the trains <laughs> in New York City are electrically switched mm. instead of electronically switched, which means that they don't know where the fucking trains are or which train is which once they leave Oh, wait, the isn't station. it some? Like half the lines? Cause some some you, of them they've upgraded. Right, right, right. But the, th- like the way the tracks were all laid out is is they had to do it like, you know, a hundred years ago where uh, the current goes through the train and then they can tell if a certain section of track is occupied, but they can't tell which train it is or how fast it's going. Gotcha. So they always have to have like a, a thousand feet difference or distance between each train because mm-hmm. uh, that's just how the system is set up. So you don't have the possibility of making trains run faster than I think at max, like every five minutes or whatever. Mm. Uh, well, if once they're going at a certain speed. Well, how much would it cost to get them oh, more? More than just completely rebuilding really? the entire. Yeah. Damn. To to also aren't the letter trains and number trains a different width? Uh no, I the think letter that. trains are wider than the number trains, so you can yeah. But the track width, I the think track is, width is yeah. is different. There's different rolling stock for the different lines because they used to be two private companies. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's like it's like renovating a house. Like if you had a bare piece of land, it would be easier to just build a new house there mm-hmm. than to take some fucked up old house and right, restore it. Right, right, right. And, that's, yeah, and then fu- with Hurricane Sandy and shit, I mean that caused so much fucking damage. Yeah, but then it's also like. The MTA is just a fucking mess with, like, tons of bureaucratic problems. Right. Yeah, I want those clean Japanese-Korean trains, dude. Yeah, they you just You go shove into that fucking in place and, like, everything's nice and fucking, you know, orderly. I mean, it seems like they grope, but other yeah, than that... Yeah, there's a lot of gropes. You know, other than that, I feel like everything's robotic. They might even have, like, a what little I robot that's What I dick. want, a step up from the hoverboard, is part of my Amazon Prime membership. I can hit a button on my phone. And then a drone comes and grabs onto my skull with like a plunger type of device. <laughs> <laughs> and just like an inspector lifts gadget. me into yeah. the air yes. and, and flies me to Manhattan. Oh, that's good. Damn, dude, I want a little jetpack. How far exactly. away are we from jetpack technology? I think it's already, already there. have jetpacks. But like yeah. for personal use. They already have jetpacks for personal use. That I'm clear. What, what do you think? There's only a jetpack <laughs> for the <laughs> president? <laughs> yeah, actually, yes, that is what I think. <laughs> You're not allowed to fly drones in New York City, though. It's like what do you mean? Mega yeah, against the law. I, it happens all they the time. All I know it time. happens all the time, but yeah. In the park. I had a friend that got uh, almost arrested because he was in Prospect Park flying his drone. Really? Yeah. Well, I want a fucking personal jet pack, and I want a fucking jet pack everywhere I go. Yeah, it would be funny to see you up there. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a live There athlete. goes stuff. Dude, yeah, I actually... With your girlfriend on the back of the jet pack? <laughs> I would love that. But I don't I have think a you girlfriend. should be encased in one of those hamster balls, <laughs> <laughs> like a bubble boy situation. <laughs> I would, I would actually legit love that. If you can make the ball go a little faster, if it could be like a, an electric bike, you know, where it's like yeah. you, you pedal, but like it, it those helps motorcycle you. cages. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, and I'm running, up. but I'm going fast as shit. I'm, I'm running my my normal pace, which is like you know five miles an hour, but. It, mm-hmm. Then it goes. It it bumps me up to twenty. The motorcycle cage has to be the dumbest of the circus attractions. Yeah, because it's, it's like bar- it's, it's barely the circus. There's no athleticism there. It's <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that's just yeah. extremely dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What well, like that really? That feels way more like fucking monster truck rally shit than the circus. The monster trucks are fucking cool. Yes. Because they have to spend a shit ton of money on those trucks. Yeah, and they and go... then they just break them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like every every monster truck rally, there's a truck that like, well, yeah, that one's fucked. The axle snapped yeah, off, yeah, the yeah, engine yeah. exploded. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be another seventy thousand dollars fixing that part of the truck. But who cares, baby? As long as fucking, as long as there's hillbillies trying to fucking win back their son's love, the fucking monster truck rally will be in business. 
Dude, that's a huge business. You I know, know. It's, the story of monster trucks is insane. It was like just one fucking retard <laughs> that had a uh, like a pickup truck, an F one fifty, and he's mm-hmm. like, "Oh well, I'll put bigger tires on it, and then put even bigger <laughs> tires on it, and then, I, and then well, I thought, well, what if I put even bigger tires on it, <laughs> and then the tires got big enough, people want to come see the truck, <laughs> and so then I thought, well, hold on now, I got this truck with big tires." If I put even bigger tires on it <laughs> until more and more people come, and that was his business plan, and the tires just got bigger and bigger. Wow, really? Yeah, and then, you know, like people then would just jump cars. People, yeah, people would come and they would be like, Can you destroy my car with your beautiful truck? And he would drive it. Over would it would be an honor, sir, <laughs> yeah, for yeah. you to, ch- to fucking destroy my gay ass Chevy Caprice. My daughter just turned 27 and she still is unmarried, and a rumor has it around town she fucked one of the black guys works at gas station so we're gonna put her in my old caprice and lock the doors and i want you to take bigfoot and crush her death in it so my family can have honor again yeah that's fucking that's an honor on killing yeah. Yeah. yeah and that's the story of monster truck <laughs> yeah it was actually no how it started was there is a little known law in louisiana that it's actually okay to molest children if you're 15 feet in the air <laughs> Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it was originally, but for, only fifteen to seventeen yeah. feet. Well, it, and I thought it was above that. Above that, it's illegal. Again. It's international oh, air. It's called the one and yeah. a half story law, oh. yeah. and it dates back to uh, colonial times, right? When yeah. uh, when the richest the of, mayor was a pedophile, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and he had a hot <laughs> air balloon. It, well, it yeah, dates back to the French elephant, when the French right oh, an oh. elephant. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when the French were in charge of Louisiana, Pierre. Pierre raped people yeah, on right. elephants. Pierre Sugar yeah. Fingers Toufon, who was the most notorious pedophile in New Orleans. And I said, well, then, boys. And he would ride his elephant around raping children. He would find crying babies and cover yeah. his fingers in sugar and so, yeah, silence them by a, putting his mouth. A guy discovered that law when mm. he was reading the laws of Louisiana on audiobook. A barrister. Yeah, right. And and uh, and then so he, he made that truck and... And he was like, this is my monster truck. Wow. Oh, monster. Oh, I see. Very nice. That's the only other definition of monster. It's either Halloween or pedophile. <laughs> yeah. Or both in some in some situations. Or uh, that movie where Charlize Theron's ugly. Monster. Oh, yeah. monster. Monster's ball. Yeah. Personally, I think, I, I think she's really ugly in Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> I was so mad. As look, I'm a feminist like everybody else, but how Two dare eyes. how dare she cut her hair? Absolutely, yeah. no woman is ever allowed to have short hair. So true. <laughs> Gavin McGinnis actually wrote that article. Did he? Oh my yeah, god, he did. Dude. Well, he was like, he was like, women with short hair is rape. You're raping <laughs> me because it looks like a boy. Oh, and I'm attracted to it. Is that his <laughs> argument? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's, I just want to have doggy dude. style sex with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In her, in their ass, and yeah. cover their pussy in up. their ass. <laughs> yeah, cover their pussy up with like in a... your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I like I, I like some nice short hair every once in a while. I don't mind it. I like. Um, I, I think all women are beautiful. Yeah, I'm. I want to have sex with them. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I have. Yeah, I want some short hair. I want to get some short hair trim, boys. Yeah. And by that, I mean fuck men. <laughs> yeah, if you're a woman with short hair, uh, you have to send naked pictures to Stavros through any of the social media outlets. Remember, it's progressive because you're disgusting. <laughs> yeah. So he's doing you a favor. Yes. Stav comedy. He's actually on being. On Twitter. Stav <laughs> underscore comedy on he's Snapchat. He's being feminism by Stavvy jacking Baby off too. you. Sexually. Yeah. Well, By big, jacking off to Amber Rose, I'm a feminist. Big yeah. news uh, today, Stav can no longer serve in the United States military as a oh, transgender yeah. American. <laughs> if yeah. he's beat off to too much, too many transgender Americans. Yeah. Um, I saw... Yeah, first, that's uh, that's hilarious. Anyone, like, who gives a fuck? How, how did that start? Why is that an issue? <laughs> because like, he's losing... Because he, he lost... Because he, he tweeted about it. He but might no, but lose... I mean, why did he tweet about because it? Because he's trying... Because healthcare yeah, isn't going... Oh, this is his home. master... Yeah, yeah. God, that's so fucking Yeah, he crazy. just took like a fucking, you know... He's changing the narrative. Wow. Yeah. He's talk- he's, he must be talking to that fucking Cajun motherfucker. No, he just saw MASH for the first time. And he's really mad about Klinger. <laughs> 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 but uh, you know what? It's weird. I watched. I watched. I used to watch MASH all the time. Mm-hmm. The TV show? The I TV thought Hawkeye yeah, yeah. Yeah, was, the, was the guy who dressed. No, Hawkeye is Alan Alda. Oh, okay. That's the main character. 
Okay. Clinger, right? Is the tr- the Foxtrot? Foxy? Is there, There's one named Fox something, isn't there? I don't know. I never really watched the show, but I've seen the movie. I've the never seen the movie. Robert I've seen Altman the show. Movie. And I did, I did beat off to the lady in it. The yeah. blonde lady? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she looks sugar nice pussy. That was her name. Sugar Walls. <laughs> That's what they used to call her. <laughs> um, uh, listen here, Sugar Walls. Um... No, but you know what I never noticed watching that show is Radar's got like a fucked up a radar. Hand. Radar's got like a deformed baby arm. And he's a surgeon? No, he's the radio operator. Oh, the radio guy. Wait, yeah. Radar's the guy who dresses bad? Like a no. woman? No. Clinger is the fucking one that wears women's clothes. Okay. But he's not trans. The character did that to get fucking like. To get off the base? Oh. Yeah, so they yeah. thought he, they would think he was crazy. <laughs> A freak of nature. They would think he has a <laughs> mental <laughs> disorder. Yeah, dog. I saw a picture of like one, like a trans sh- soldier, like a F to M, and he was just jacked as shit, fucking big ass gun, and sh- it's like, how much tougher is that person than all of well, us? Well, did you see the SEAL well, Team? Well, you can't 16? say that because then you're saying that women Lady? aren't tough enough to be in. The no, military. but what I'm saying is, it's harder to like fucking go from to look jacked as hell if you start as a woman, right? The and have is, more testosterone. I don't and I don't shit. I don't give right? a shit. There's no there's no reason there's no like argument of for course, there's I'm no just, argument for like, you know, transgender people or even gay people should be allowed to be in the military because the military by it, that's it's the most design part. does bad shit. That, the yeah. only thing is like it is a source of income for people that wouldn't fucking right, be able right, to right. find work anyways. But like right. you should be focused on fixing the economy and absolutely. There I should mean, be jobs for those people. That is they the funniest have protection in, in you know whatever workplace McDonald's. They should be able to make enough money, you know, to pay their fucking rent or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I know that is that is the irony here. Is that like it's just it's like fucking oh the military's it's like when everyone was sucking off the FBI and the CIA. It's like what these guys are good now. It's like we care about the fucking military. Well, it's just yeah, fucking, it's, it, and it's the same thing when they were like women just, can serve in combat roles. It's like is this really? Like the feminism that we wanted first, it's like you could have your titties out. I didn't want out. any feminism. <laughs> I didn't want. It. I was saying from the get go, this is a bad idea. It's going to lead to trans people taking Chris Kyle's job. <laughs> and I said, mark my words, mm. and nobody marked them. Wow. Um, yeah. Well, would you? What about a trans sniper, Chris Kyle? Maybe he was trans. The um, that SEAL Team Six woman, SEAL uh, Team Dicks. Seal Team nice. Six. Uh, she's uh, she was like heavily decorated Seal Team Six, and she's like trans now. She came out as trans afterwards. Yeah, but she she w- looked like a hard motherfucker when she was in the, the Seal Team. I, I got in trouble on Chapo Why? when I did it because we were talking about Ben Shapiro and uh, who's not that, in that trouble. Little, Someone twe- one who's person ben, tweeted. Ben that fucking little ass nerd? Yeah, he's that nerd. But I talked yeah. about that video where he's on the, the dais helicopter with the helicopter pilot. And there, was this, there was this helicopter pilot. Yeah, it was like yeah. a NOM helicopter pilot that became like a, a LA News helicopter pilot yeah. that mm-hmm. covered the, uh, the OJ... Oh shit! She also covered like Rodney, the Rodney King the Rodney riots, King and like and she was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, she, one like there was a helicopter accident, and the blades cut her dick off, and then <laughs> she became trans. No, that's not true. Well, that's what I. Sav is gonna think that's, that's what true. I thought happened. Anyway, so she came out as trans. So I brought up she was on. I a mean, dais. Well, you tell me that's not what happened. I mean, no, it makes so much sense. <laughs> She was on like a dais with Ben Shapiro, and Ben Shapiro. Was I mean, like, you put one and two. <laughs> yeah. You I'm fucking. Thank you. I don't know anything about this story, but yeah, it's let's, let's use a little bit of deductive reasoning. Yeah. <laughs> There's a helicopter pilot whose dick yeah. comes off. <laughs> I mean, w- what else happened? <laughs> the helicopter landed on it, Adam? No. There's two sets no, of blades. She, ever since she he was, was sunbathing like, nude up in, <laughs> upside uh, with his dick hard. Ever since she was <laughs> and young. Someone, and someone fucking flipped it upside down. She and felt <laughs> like there was something different about her. Anyway, yes. Anyway, so she's on a dais with Ben Shapiro. And uh, Ben Shapiro like... roast days? Yeah, he's like, you can say you're a woman as much as you want, but that doesn't make you a woman. Yeah, you're entitled oh, to what your opinion, but I, you're not... I don't have to call you a woman. Yeah. And, oh. and then he, or she puts her, her like, massive, 
arms from you know manually spinning the helicopter blades <laughs> to start it you know or whatever you have to do Un- and he goes listen sweetie <laughs> I did not do the voice like that <laughs> listen sweetie He's like listen sweetie if like- you fucking call you man again <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking go you. <laughs> no, she said, "Listen, sweet Adam, you did that." Yeah, no, Adam, you fucked up. If you, you, Adam went on chapel. Adam, and he you said, were like, I'm he, said a he said, uh, "You know what?" Trans when I love? quoted her, putting her dicks in blenders. <laughs> No, I never said that. It's a direct Whoa, Adam dude. Friedland quote. Come on, man. You no. represent us whenever you yeah, fucking dude. go out there. No, man. when I was on Chapo, I did. <laughs> I it's quoted cool. her. <laughs> yeah. And someone said that I changed the pitch of my voice, which I I think I listened back. I don't think I did that. Which is accurate because your regular Be- speaking voice already sounds like yes. a dumb woman. Yeah, it is. That, so you, you had to go, to, you had to go yeah. down a register to reach helicopter pilot woman. It's so true. Yeah, so... Um, Oh, that's so what anyway, you got in trouble yeah. for? So someone, yeah, so someone was and upset about... And by trouble, about, you mean one person said it was bad? I got, you know, some people were like, that's horrible or something. Well, listen, man, you represent whatever. the show when you're out there, well, so... Let me, let me tell you right Don't now. Don't do any more transphobic Whoever shit. Whoever said that... I'll try not to. ...is a retard. <laughs> yeah. I, I, that's, are they, that's our wait, are they, professional <laughs> rebuttal. What do you think their <laughs> sexual orientation is? Uh, it was uh, a trans, injury. It was a trans <laughs> woman. Did it. it was a trans woman, I believe, who said that. Um, uh, but yeah, so um, I'm not apologizing for that. Whoa, but, the yeah. bad boy, bad boy, the motherfucking bad boy. I'll apologize bad for boy. other things, but sucking on that. my dick, um, sucking on my dick, and eating my ass. Bad boys, bad, bad boys. boys. Uh, what you gonna, gonna do? do? What you gonna do when I, I fuck, fuck your dick? dick. <laughs> Either one works. Yeah, it's um, nice. I don't. Have you guys seen? I feel like I was on a streak of seeing a bunch of movies, but I think that ended. I don't think I've seen a movie in a while. I just watched. Um, John Wick Two, I guess. Good one. Fucking rules. Yeah, I love the. I love that the villains like hang out. It's just a museum. Yeah, people yeah. Just where go, they have like people a fucking, visit the museum <laughs> and then in one of the rooms they have an like, industrial I rock love, concert I just love that, for villains. <laughs> yeah, that one yeah. scene where, where him and Common are like having that oh, shootout, yeah, and yeah. then they go into that. I don't know where it is. The, the like, secret train place. station, oh. and they're just sort of like, oh my god, quietly little, shooting at each other. Quiet <laughs> shooting was the funniest fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. like secretly, and no one's noticing. The two yeah, guys yeah, yeah. are shooting guns, dude. That shit. That was like, oh, that's so inventive. Oh, that's yeah. such an awesome scene. It yeah, ruled. Yeah. That movie yeah. fucking rocks. John Wick is the best. Is my favorite action franchise. I know that's uh, you know people will argue or whatever, but like maybe it's, it's because a good one. it's it's the, I think it's the best one, dude. It's I haven't seen the them in a while, but so I really good. like the Crank movies. See, I haven't um, seen them. Yeah, yeah, they're really sick, dude. Crank is good. I mean, Statham is like a really good martial artist. But those so. the guys that so made is it. Keanu. I mean, that's why like all that uh, like, choreography is great is because yeah. Keanu is like yeah. dedicated to learning how to. And he knows how to shoot guns for real. Have you seen those videos of him shooting guns? And yeah, shit? yeah, yeah. Like doing obstacle course gun obstacle courses. Yeah, yeah. He learned all that shit. Although it's funny, like you watch John Wick one and then John Wick two, and he does like the same move often. Where he'll, yeah, like, yes. put somebody in like a leg lock and then pop him in the top of the head. He does it always, and I'm always happy when he yeah, does yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck, dude. That shit rocks. I heard a rumor. Well, that- it's like, yeah, he'd probably do that if he's going through killing that many people at yeah. once. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, I heard the rumor that it, there's the rumor that the third one is going to basically be like the fucking, um, uh, the tower. Was that what it was called? No, nah, they're or, um, or the ra- like the raid, raid. yeah, the, yeah, 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 that, yeah, like yeah. Uh, Thailand movie, yeah, yeah, where he just goes yeah. up and he just has to kill a fucking. That movie is sick. Well, that movie complained sick, about uh, about it because it's like a white guy, so it's it's gonna be uh, they're changing it. Melissa McCarthy is gonna be <laughs> yeah as Sean the new, as the new John Wick, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. That Les- was Leslie, no joke. Leslie Jones is the new John Wick, and she no just screams at people. I just understood people being mad about Ghostbusters. Like that, like if, yeah, if they yeah, made yeah. if they made Keanu Melissa McCarthy, yeah. I would be. What I mean, it it's retarded. No, but, what does yeah. it matter? Wait, so who cares if you completely change the cast of something? I mean, if they made yeah Jane Wick and it was tight, I guess I'd be down. Yeah. I do want to see Atomic Blonde. That shit looks tight. Do you have you seen it? I, I've have seen, seen the, the I've seen trailer? the posters and the. Subway. It looks cool. The trailer looks cool. It basically does look like actually. I think Atomic Blonde is essentially Jane Wick. Like it's essentially mm. like neither you see Ghosts in the Shell, yeah, with no. uh, Scarlett. I read Johansson. an Amazon review that said it's not bad. 
I'd watch uh, it. Somebody said it reminded them of Blade Runner, which I you know what we should re- rewatch, how. which is like an amazing. Because they're film. stupid. Whoever said that is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about it the other day. It's incredible, and Fern I haven't Gully. seen it. In, I, I haven't Land Before <clears throat> Time too. I haven't seen it in a in a minute, but we should watch the Michael Mann Miami Vice with Jamie Fox and Colin yeah, Farrell. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that movie is fucking sick. Really, I'll yeah. watch it. I haven't. It seen was it. like another movie that was like panned. Like people were like, "This fucking sucks," but. It's because it's too dark and it yeah, doesn't have super dark. Doesn't, it doesn't feel like Miami Vice. No, it's Michael Mann's take on Miami Vice. It's a Michael Mann. It's more of a Michael Mann movie yeah. than. Uh, Do you like yeah. him because his name's Mann? Uh, mm-hmm. That's why you w- like. It's too. Imagine if his yeah. name was Man's Ass. Ad- Adam Mann's looks ass. at the box that. and he goes in Blockbuster <laughs> and he takes the Michael Mann movie into the corner and just looks at the word Man and jacks off to it. <laughs> <laughs> trying to avoid the security cameras <laughs> just jacking um, off to the word man <laughs> yeah so you've never <laughs> seen <laughs> that game <laughs> that the word man gets you hard yeah. the word man spelled differently in a person's name gets you hard <laughs> yeah. sir what are you doing with that copy of thief <laughs> it's a smart joke <laughs> that's a really smart joke uh, which you, you guys bitch really, ass? You guys really? Which your dumb ass, bitch ass, <laughs> gay ass, Adam? Yeah, rack up, you guys boy. Are. Pink hat on your knee, ass motherfucker. <laughs> with your it. little posture, ass like a woman, fucking leg over your fucking dick. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just. Uh, this is how I sit, man. Shut up. Fuck, dude, I'm hungry as shit. Yeah. yeah, I gotta do another smoothie before we go out. No, let's go get dinner. We're gonna get dinner. We're gonna do both. Wow, I'm Yo, committed to gaining, that. to gaining 200 pounds this year. <laughs> Not hitting 200 pounds, gaining, gaining. 200 pounds. Mm, that's oh, cool. Yeah. How are you gonna do it? I w- I'm gonna be. I promise the audience with vegetables. I will be as jacked as the Rock in <laughs> by December. December. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to gain 242 pounds of pure muscle. Of just how two- tall is he? He's like six four, six, probably. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Dwayne, motherfucking our next president, dude. Dwayne the Brock Turner. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't I mean? It would be fucking hilarious if he legitimately he's a ran. No, dude. Yeah, he on. is. I think. No, he's not. I think he is. It'd be great if he no, ran. And all these, all these is. fucking idiots You're voted for him, me. and they didn't realize he was a Republican. They're just like, yeah, the Rock, great. Or like if yeah. George Takai ran. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're putting everyone in camps. <laughs> take <laughs> that, <laughs> take <laughs> that, yeah. white people. Grumpy <laughs> Cat is putting everyone in camps. Yeah. I can has cheeseburger yeah. concentration <laughs> camps. Some uh, some smells like cum in here. Oh, sorry, it's you pasta. Still that? Oh, it's my yeah. hard penis and the, in the pe- and the. Why does that pasta out of smell it? like cum? Sometimes pasta smells like cum. Because you guys like got cum. molested by Italians. Yeah. I said, an Italian man put a piece of spaghetti in his ass <laughs> and it made me suck the other end. <laughs> like the like fucking lady, lady in the tram. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> when yeah. the moon hips your lips like a big pizza pie, that's <laughs> La Bella mo- Stuga. Uh, that's mo- remember that one. Mole station. <laughs> remember yeah. La Bella Stuga? I do remember La Bella Stuga. Uh, what a fucking song. Hey, that's not the lyric. <laughs> La Bella Stuga. <sighs> I fucked up my back at the squat rack yesterday, guys. Yeah, no, you did. What were you doing? Looking I at was, cleaning uh, it for a stronger guy. With poor form. <laughs> you hurt your back deadlifting? Wiping it down so. for a guy did who you, bullied did, him. Did you hurt your back while actually deadlifting, or you finished the set and then later your back hurt? I woke up this morning and my back hurt really bad. Yeah, then you didn't hurt your back dead. Let's just muscle tension. Tightness? Yeah. You just oh. need to go get a massage. Go get a massage, fucking go to yoga or something. Foam roll the shit out of it next time you go to the gym. I'm going to get a foam roller off of Amazon. You're going to get that, that kind of massage you'd like to get? The kind that sets some people back a couple, you know? What are you talking about? Keeps them enslaved? <sighs> Is that the kind of massage you're going to get? No. Let me get a massage for my girlfriend. God, boys, we should go to Little Italy after this. <laughs> little Italy sucks, dude. We got to go to the real Little Italy, which is in uh, Arthur Avenue. I would go. In the Bronx. Let's go to let's go to the Bronx yeah. right now. Is Arthur Avenue where they make all the the black Arthur. memes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Arthur memes. Yeah. Very nice. I'll t- let's take a fucking yeah, Uber. Yeah, you know, be a funny that meme video that, in the Bronx. You know, be a funny meme that no guy? one would get is uh, is you is you do you write. Uh, uh, 
TFW when no hold on TFW you get lost between the moon and New York City <laughs> and then it's the Arthur hand <laughs> oh that's good yeah. that's, that's not bad good. that's yeah. pretty good yeah. I think a few people would get that yeah you know if you're a real crisscross fan you get it <laughs> mm-hmm. I was I was saying today that I'm uh, transgender <laughs> instead of transgender which is trance yeah it's where I suck off other guys at EDM shows but <laughs> outside of that I'm normal. <laughs> That's good. I know That's a couple. A of, I know a couple of fellows like that. Oh yeah, music, Trans, music guys. People that got, the guys that are music festival gay. Oh yeah. Well, listen, man, what, you get they, a little Molly only system? gay at music <laughs> yeah, festivals. Yeah, yeah. Raves. I've, I've met a couple of people like that. That let you know. Oh yeah, I'll let some guy in a headdress jack me yeah, off. I mean, it's a fucking... healthy way to get the sickness out of your body, dude. That's it's true. like it's like leeching. You know? I'm only gay at raves. That's and- what that song, Down With The Sickness, is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very homophobic yet progressive song. <laughs> I feel like we've made a similar joke to the sickness being gayness. <laughs> Have we? I mean, it just feels like something Imagine trying to do that kind of comedy on stage now. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm mean, going up, hey, you guys hear that song. You know what I think it means? Boo. <laughs> I would love to see that. My sister was my last dad, you <laughs> piece of shit. Sucking a dick inside of New York City. God damn, I fucked up my back somehow. Damn, you did too? You yeah. stole Did you just steal that from Adam? No, I just I just slept yeah, on my, my arm wrong. That's a stolen bit. <laughs> um yo, thanks a lot to everyone that came out on oh, Monday. Yeah. Funny Moms, that was a we, that was a really good show, by the it way. It was awesome. And we're really happy with how these shows have been going. And we are going to be moving to twice a month. Uh, oh, the, are we? Yeah, in you the fall. You didn't tell us that, bitch. Well, I'm telling you now. In the <laughs> fall, we are moving to twice a month. I'll the make bad news is, is that uh, I will be dead by then. Yeah. Um, and also, I'm going to die in Greece. I'm sorry for false I'm advertising. The advertisement. Our Italian uh, American, Italian American friend Mike Racine, Italo. friend of the show, Italo American. In the '80s, they used to call themselves that. The Italo Americans. Yeah. Do you remember that? He the went to the there. wrong venue. Uh, he was supposed to be on the show, but we're going to get him on soon. We know you Fuck guys Racine. love him. Fuck him. He's seriously. listening right now. Yeah. Make me some meatballs, you fucking guinea cocksucker. Uh, let's go over to his house and make, him, make his girlfriend That's not make a bad idea. Dinner. Maybe we text Racine to get dinner with us. Um, yeah, that'd be nice. I'm fucking hungry, dude. Um, anyway, yeah, so... Oh, fuck. Did you guys see that fucking fake-ass little kid letter? Yeah, yeah, to Trump. That shit was so funny. Oh, well, there was somebody who pretended their child wrote a letter to Trump. I think so. I, I think it was. Uh, yeah, remember? Didn't what it was might not have been guy? fake. But I fucking that is the one thing that pisses me off more than anything is when it's like you know a video that starts like Wait, say it again. What would you say? Yeah, 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 what was yeah, that yeah, thing yeah. you said? Oh, Dad, the bu- bu- uh, the boys should be able to play with the girls' toys. <laughs> you know, and everyone's like, see, the bunch of child's at it, so it means it's right. <laughs> well, it's always never like- mind the fact that ninety five percent of the other children in the world are racist yeah. pieces of shit. The fake, <laughs> the fake, like oh, kids are the most discriminatory people <laughs> in the world. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. That's all they know is yeah. like, how do I fucking exclude people yeah, and categorize yeah. them? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, no, but it's always like the the lib fake kid pure. letters are always like way too eloquent for like a of seven course. year old. Yeah, and like the conservative ones are always like, this kid is like f- like a fucking retard. Yeah, that was one. Of the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was one of fired. The, Remember yeah. that one? That was one of the first jokes I, I wrote when I was doing stand up. Really, about a billboard that was on Interstate ninety five near Delaware. That's that had like I'm a black 95. kid, a black kid and a white kid. They were like hugging each other, and it was like children don't see color. It was some PSA. Oh yeah. And then my my tag for, or my mm-hmm. b- pr- my setup was like, which is an effective ad because sex sells. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> People would laugh at that because I was sixteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Sixteen. Yeah, was, yeah. Is that pedophilia if you're sixteen and, and fucking children? It. Uh yes. What do you mean? Of course. You know, by the law, where they you're get under started. eighteen. It is funny to think we talked about it before, but like, you know, being sixteen and like fucking fifteen year olds. Yeah, you fuck a child, and then you remember that as an adult, and yeah, you're like, yeah, oh, yeah. jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. Whenever a girl, whenever a girl says to me, she's like, "Yeah, I started real young. I was 13 I'm like, yeah. Good God. Yeah, it's disgusting. Dude, I, I did I dated a girl that was like she told me this fucking story one time about being in like English class in like sixth grade and just letting guys finger her in class. Whoa. She was like, Yeah, I was just letting I was thinking to my own classroom 
and how we had like open desks, and I couldn't yeah, imagine yeah. just the choreography of letting yeah, multiple yeah, yeah, people yeah, yeah. finger you in the classroom <laughs> without the teacher being like, "What's, what's going on back there? Who's that fingering? Why do you keep dropping your pencils in front of Alexa's desk?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't uh, stop fingering. <laughs> in middle school, like there was this thing where girls. Um, as like a thing would all show their thongs that like became a thing yeah like dude. sit in class because that Cisco song we could probably because the thong, thong song thong, was thong, big thong. I remember that Baltimore yeah. Zone baby Cisco yeah I think I saw them at the fudge shop in the inner yes, harbor yes he was about that dude, yeah. Drew when they were Drew Hill yeah yeah, yeah. I never realized that that was a neighborhood in Baltimore Druid Hill Not, Park my I thought bitch. It, I thought Cisco's name was Drew Hill and that was like his backup oh, no, band. No, 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 yeah, no. It was very confusing to me. What's Cisco up to, dude? That uh, silver hair? Why the fuck hasn't silver hair come back? Dude, I was just I was on What's the way his home name? from Frank the gym Ocean today. Probably has it. And and I, I, I fell asleep last night watching this new Guy Fieri show. I don't know if it's new or not. Guys but Grocery Games? Guys Grocery Games. I fucking love yeah, yeah, Guys yeah, yeah, Grocery Games. It's the dumbest show. I fucking love it. I love it, so I love it because first of all, Diners <laughs> drives in dies is already a stupid fucking horrible. Show. Very but stupid. Guys Grocery Games is like they were trying, they're like, Well, Chop's more successful than us, so we're gonna just do Chopped. But the guy's be store. there for some reason. Yeah, yeah. He's not a judge. <laughs> no, no. He's not, he's not doing it. He's the host. He's the just, presenter. Yeah, he's like, well, all right, we're back on Triple D's, Triple G's, and the challenge today. And he thinks that's like the coolest name. Absolutely. And it's just call it the name of the show. I'm sure that's been a fight he's had with the producer. Absolutely. Numerous times. They're like, guy, great. Everything's going great. But could you please say the actual name of the show and stop calling it Triple D, Triple G? Yeah. And short, you only have no, one he, thing to I say. Thought, it's thought he, the name name of the show and could you please do it and he's like yeah no i'm not doing that yeah. <laughs> no i'm gonna kid but he there's no reason for him to be there he serves no purpose he's like than- he's like the smash mouth of the culinary world uh, he's the same uh, first of all you see and they're both theory, they're both going i didn't, to say I didn't know anything fans. about him but i saw him and i said i guarantee you this guy's got uh, from northern california oh yeah yeah he's yeah, got he that is. fucking northern california fatso vibe that like you know, <laughs> yeah. san jose they're like yeah you know, South Bay 1998 Bay. forever yeah, yeah. you know uh, kind of fatso and he's one of them. Dude, the and, best part about well, him... Go that, ahead. Well, sorry, but that show, there's literally shots where he's in the background, off mic, just mu- like mumbling and saying <laughs> things. That it's are awesome. Left on the show. He's just wandering around <laughs> yeah. while everybody does stuff, because there's nowhere for him to fucking go and in also, that grocery store. And also, no one can cook. <laughs> all the food is bullshit on yeah, Matt's Grocery course. Games. Yeah. It's not, they don't even have it's chefs. It's all amateurs. Yeah. They just yeah. have... Yeah, it's just it's like sloppy home joes and yeah. shit. Yeah. And, uh, well, also, part, I don't understand the premise. It's, it's like, just shitty chopped. Well, I know, but it, with chopped, it's like these are the ingredients it's you have access to. It's supermarket sweep. It's like these are the ingredients you have access to. In this show, they're literally in a fucking grocery store. No, no, no. There's, there's. They, they put puts, limits. Puts they're like, you can't use That's what I mean. This, yeah. Yeah. Is that, well, why are there limits? What's the point that's, of being in a grocery store? It's well, like that's supermarket the fun part, sweep. Baby. You gotta like find the shit yeah, in the supermarket. Yeah, you got $19.07 to make a fucking dinner for two. No, they have to have specific ingredients. No, sometimes they do. My friend, you haven't watched as much Guys Grocery Games as I have. I've watched enough to complain about it. <laughs> yeah. Here's the best part, though, dude. He pronounced his name Fieri. Yeah. And he was I'm born... Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri. He was born Guy Fieri, and he pronounced <laughs> it Fieri. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Guy Fieri. No, dude, he fucking... Here's how stupid he is. He changed his name back to Fieri for his wedding so he could honor his his great-grand... great Italian wop grandfather... Incredible. Giuseppe really? Fieri in, like, a toast. In, like, a drunken toast <laughs> at his wedding. But I just want to say that my, uh, my grandfather Father uh, Giuseppe uh, Freire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he fuck. Oh man, I do love guys' grocery games though. You know what else I've been on recently? Master Chef, motherfucking Junior. Dude. See, I don't like cooking shows, but I am a I big HGTV them. head. I love Property I love Brothers. Cooking shows. No, I, I can't. I don't like that shit, dude. Dude, the Property Brothers are my fucking. Those shit. are different. Those are our different passions: woodworking and eating. Yeah. You know. I love me some damn fucking Master Chef. Oh, the thing theater. I love about yeah. the Property Brothers is they're so there's zero charisma to either one. Absolutely, of them. Yeah. they're like they're emotionally fucks. flat. They're like they're like you know when you work with somebody and they're doing an impression of what they think a cool person would yeah, say yeah, yeah, or yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like when they employ sarcasm in that way, where they're like, "Yeah, that sounds like a great idea." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, what? Well, they no, but they have <laughs> they have that w- fake like. They're like a customer service agent, like at all times, like someone trying to upsell you. No. They, they're always like a waitress asking if you want dessert. Well, the contractor one definitely has like he was like a, 
a pyro in middle school. <laughs> yeah, where he like like yeah. Well, look at Jonathan's got a bunch of lighters, dude. <laughs> He's a total pyro. Yeah, the kid with the Zippo. Yeah, how cool was that? Yeah, remember the Zippo, that was dude? So yeah, funny. Jonathan yeah. could make the Bic lighter spin. He could do a three sixty. Oh, the kid who would take the fucking uh, the thing off it and make the flame go big as shit. Hell yeah, dude. Korean that was, kids that was, in my high school were really into like match and lighter tricks. Really? I don't know why. Um, Ooh, yeah, Korean. The, Should we give Korean food? The contract of dude is always guys. always goes. No matter what episode, he's like, "I'm gonna go open floor plan on this." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lo- you gotta go open floor plan. Yeah, and then he has one scene where he like drags a sawzall through some drywall, and then his team comes in speaking and does of, the real work. Speaking of, I'm moving, Nick. There's a wall. It's gotta go. I'm gonna Jonathan Scott the Holy shit out fuck. of that. I gotta say, we should do that. We're, I gotta say, let's take a sledgehammer. That so shit. there's like this. Uh, there's a wall. Like there's a kitchen. You just. I want to fucking knock that shit down. Open floor plan. Prop. Open prop. Floor property floor brothers plan, style. My bitch. This shit's gonna look so yes, good. Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah. So like I was let's talking to Max about it today, and he's like, shit. I don't think there's. We should any- do that's actually. It's weird because I wrote a sketch for the show that we're producing called the property, and then it's the n words. <laughs> I don't want to say on the podcast because it, it won't make sense out of context. I'm just saying if we, <laughs> we do the actual sketch, we'll all be. I'll be. We'll, we'll be wearing face. prosthetics. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. well, it's not blackface. It's prosthetics. I mean, uh, the nose uh, will be bigger. You have the sawzall. It'll be the lips will be bigger. It's not like just it's not a racist thing i'm wearing i'm wearing he's the not makeup applying paint to I, his yeah, skin right. it's not i'm not doing a minstrel show yeah, 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 i'm method yeah, yeah. acting you fucking piece yeah, of shit yeah yeah we, a, we're doing high this it's is a latex tropic prosthetic. thunder tropic it's thunder yeah, it's yeah. all gonna be shot in 4k hilarious mm-hmm. tropic thunder really hit that sweet spot yeah <laughs> like that uh, even two and it's it's months. written by the fucking Mulholland Drive guy. How crazy is that? Yeah, that is hilarious. Uh, wait, David Lynch? No, no. Uh, the actor Justin. You guys Thoreau. aren't watching fucking no, no. It's so good. Twin Peaks is gay. Twin Peaks is no, dude. It still original, smells like cum in here. The original I always thought was like corny. Now it smells like a different cum. It smells like like that tree that smells like cum. Yeah, the yeah. DC cum trees, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DC no, they have them covered everywhere. in cum trees. The Lower East Side has. If you go into like the lower, uh, the LES got the cum trees. Yeah, if you Boston's got, so got like them. Clinton. Clinton mm-hmm. Street is what I call it. Cum Street. Yeah, yes. during the su- the springtime. You go down there, you get a nice, nice big nose full of cum. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, when I hey, go down to Christopher Street, we could go I, right I just can't stop Christopher! smelling cum. <laughs> Christopher! Christopher, <laughs> did you come all over the street? <laughs> Greasy. Greasy. Yeah, whenever I'm in the West Village, uh, when at Stonewall, you know, it's just... It's, Why are you got a real Stonewall? Yeah. Just meeting some guys. Just you know, hanging just out. Like, March. This guy's like me. Smells like cum. <laughs> I was in the West Village when you guys were out of town and I took a picture. <laughs> I was uh, like, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a chance to finally explore the city <laughs> while you guys are, you know, out of town. <laughs> Living life, dude. Doing acid by a pool. I was out of clown. Mm. I went to Detroit to be with my clown. My oh, oh yeah. we also have a uh, fucking wicked clown love. In two to four days, whenever shipping arrives, uh, the three of us got a big surprise for the fans. Oh yeah, it's gonna uh, be good. you guys are gonna love it. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? I'm a just, dildo to put in Adam's ass. Oh. No, that's. Oh, not- you know what I want to do? I want to get a. I want to get a mold of both of your asses, mm-hmm. and then a mold of my dick. And then fuck the the at your asses what would you with get the out mold of, of my dick. What, 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 it would be funny. It would just be funny. Wouldn't it be funny? It's funny because your dick is already covered in mold. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is. true. Right? It's well, clean. End of it where it's it's like, clean and nice. You, you don't even have a dick. You just spilled a bunch of shit on your lap. It's just a stalactite made out of old No, pizza. it's a nice penis. Thank you very much. No, no, it looks like the head of an onion. I like the top <laughs> of it. That's not bad. What's wrong with that? I'm just saying Onions like, are very the top flavorful an and, a, and a great ingredient no, for I'm, I'm, I'm like, jealous dude I'm, it looks I'm like jealous it, that I'm cut and Exactly I never, it looks Don't like be mad at me Because you're mutilated I'm nah, just saying that you've If, been I, was, if I was uncut mutilated, listen, Stav's I had asshole, no Stav's, Stav's dick looks like an asshole That like no, Kissed a cold pole In the middle of winter <laughs> Yeah And then he tried to pull it off And he couldn't And he got stretched out <laughs> Yeah It's like the fucking Christmas What's it called? Christmas Story Story Yeah it looks Sick. like a, a calamari that's about to go out of the kitchen yep. at a restaurant, <laughs> and then the the head waiter is like, "Don't serve that!" <laughs> and then they take it off and they quickly throw it in the garbage yeah. before and then both before your, it ruins the reputation. Both your of loved Olive ones Garden. suck on that little calamari. That's a mare. Dude. Yeah, what's, you know what? I'm owning it. I'm owning it. Please, I'm going to start calling my dick my calamari, dude. Come give my little calamari a suckle, dude. You want to suck on my little calamari? <laughs> I don't think anybody does. <laughs> That's what not a, true. What I'm an very awful, sexually desirable. What an awful fate to be 
What? To, be to spend time with a loving, nice man like myself? Yeah. Have a, have a good time. That's not Go what to a like. dinner. They like to be abused. Movies. They like to not be looked at in the eye <laughs> while you dr- while you drink yourself to sleep. <laughs> the glory, the Mullen glory yeah, days. Right. While Ringo, Nick's describing the while best Ringo relationship plays. he's ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> I put on a copy of Cars too. And drink myself to sleep at five thirty p.m. <laughs> <laughs> She's wait, it's your anniversary. <laughs> She's just crying. <laughs> She's at the macaroni grill you convinced her to go to ironically yeah, waiting yeah, for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when they when they when they fucking undershoot they think you're like your dad but or their dad, but then you're like way worse. <laughs> yeah. There's a much much shittier version. <laughs> <clears throat> well, ladies, if your dad's a, a little cuddly motherfucker, uh, you're in luck, because that's me. And if your dad is a ma- is a woman, if you're if lesbian, if you're raised by lesbians, you're in luck, because Adam's here also. What do you mean? Oh, I am like a lesbian yeah. mother. Mm-hmm. I'm like women kid- like you because they remind you remind them of their mom. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever see that movie? Yeah. The kids, they're all right. Oh, the when Julianne Moore right. gets that gets that punani worked over by Ruffalo. Yeah, yeah, Mark Mark the uh, Ruffalo. Mark pipes. <laughs> Mark pipes up. A lot of people Mark, are Mark were pipes upset. Ruffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Mark pipes Ruffalo. Mark pipes Ruffalo, baby. Yeah, a lot of people were upset about that. They were like, uh, you know, what, the, that, uh, that she how about, a, how about a, a movie called uh, Chodiac, <laughs> where it's a guy going around town raping people with a fucking. Oh, a three-inch long, nine-inch wide dick. <laughs> Jody, I, uh, I will keep fucking in- until the San Francisco Times publishes a picture of my dick, a life size, on the front page. <laughs> <laughs> Chodiac, that's very good. Thanks, man. What did we have at the live one? It was some another care, a very good character. Oh, is that uh, that was a Jack. really hot thirty minutes? Know. You know what? I, I have wish it on my we phone. Recorded I haven't listened to it. Should we? We should put it up even on a cell phone recording as bonus quality. Bonus well, yeah, yeah because people would bitch about me the audio quality of the live shows, and it's like. I don't know how to make it any better. Right. It, it, make, it would always well, make people it... people are upset we don't post them anymore. Well, we should at least no, post our I don't version. Think, I don't think our people... Open, our little, like, 20, 30 we minutes. We should at least open yeah. our open. I, I, this this month, it was good. Yeah. I we felt bad because it would make the comics sound like they were bombing because I couldn't get the audience well, right. Well, that's why I'm saying recorder. we should just do our thing well, from now on. Yeah, if you weren't at the show, you missed our hot Chester Bennington uh, yeah. Oh, chunk. yeah, yeah. That was pretty good. We did have some good riffs on yeah. Chester. R.I.P. Yeah. God needed another R.I.P. front man. R.I.P. to a legend. God was tired of listening yeah, to Yeah, we had a couple Garden. of Chester bangers in there. <laughs> yeah. Why uh, couldn't it have been Chester Cheetah? Did we say that? No, we didn't. No, no. we didn't. That's the new one. But also never say that about Chester Cheetah. Well, he can't die. I love a, Chester. You know what's a funny family guy joke is when he's like... I forget even the setup, but it's just Chester the Cheetah doing cocaine and listening to Rush. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, but it's it's Cheeto a, dust, I think. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, it yeah, is, yeah. yeah. That is a great joke. Remember calling someone Chester the Molester growing up? Yeah. Yeah. That was a great bit. Well, we got a new Chester Cheeto in town, folks. President Donald J. Uh-oh. Trump. Yep, I went there. I'm political. Covered in Cheeto yeah. dust. Yeah. You Excuse me, you Cheeto the, faced the commander in Cheeto. <laughs> hashtag the resistance. <laughs> we gonna, got him. We're going to resist him by yeah. not particularly changing any aspect of our lives <laughs> because we're rich New and Yorkers comfortable. with rich parents who so never really had to worry about anything, anyways. And we'll never and we be willing to change. Casually cruise into TV writing jobs <laughs> that were given to us. Because our parents paid Unlike our rent. Unlike us who worked for our casual TV jobs. Yeah, I had to be a paralegal <laughs> for eight years. Oh, I love fucking eating ass. Yeah, eating You've been ass. eating ass? I've been taking some swipes. I recently. got a creative, uh, uh, constructive criticism on the show that Stav doesn't ask the have you been fucking question. I'm anymore. sorry. I hate that question. Yeah. That's a great question. It's so obviously uh, we've run out of things no, to talk about. No, it isn't. It absolutely is not that question. That's I really want to know. If, I have here's the such fuck. Every time you say that shit, I fucking no, cringe. It's, well, anytime it's, he says that, I get in trouble because I like share too much. Here's the problem, dude. That's because you don't, dude. That's that's the difference between us. I'm an empathetic man, dude. I want to hear how my boys are fucking. I want to riff. I want to know how 
I want to have the greatest are. comedy. I want a riff. I want a rape. <laughs> there you go. Wow, he just, I want he just to crushed rape. Your, this is why you're so bad at the songs, dude. What? I want to rape. <laughs> I want to rape. <laughs> <laughs> How long have we been doing? That's pretty good. That's yeah. good. Write that one down, folks. <laughs> Whatever autistic cum boy has been uh, compiling all the fake songs, I, I oh, want that on. Uh, we got time. I want we that on an- the spreadsheet. Another eleven minutes. Another eleven minutes. Done. Oh, consentatory. That's another good one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the hey, live show. Consentatory. <laughs> hey, consentatory. The one Italian man that doesn't rape. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the respectful there Italian. Was some- Japanese thing we were doing. Maybe it was I, love, I love Italian. that like people just think definitively they're like rape jokes are not funny. You can't do them, and then you can just still be a guy that's like, oh yeah, I'm just going to continue doing them. <laughs> yeah. And there's really nothing they can do about it. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> continue to enjoy your life. You just don't have to argue with them about it. You just move who on would and- get mad about going? I want to rape uh, a million. Uh, people. Yeah, what? Uh, millions saying, of people. Probably been, more than fifty percent of America. Yeah, That's, that have been programmed f- to think that in no circumstance is it ever okay to mention it in a fucking humorous context, because that was decided, you know, three years ago online, and that's just how it is. Stuff. Yeah. I, I suppose that's correct. Well, Adam, you brought it up. Have you been fucking? Have you been raping? That's well, the real question. Um, have I been raped? Is that is that your question? We, no. In the last week, no. I've been raped. <laughs> 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 All right, now he's a guy. I've yeah. been <laughs> raped. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you okay, man? <laughs> well, did I sing the song wrong again? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, no, yeah, no, it's, it's just a, 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 t- a t- I messed up. I didn't mean to sing it that way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I done had sex with the earring. I done had also the had been at the gym with the earring. Mm. You know, I went to the gym the first time with you the command respect. That's now? that's where both of those things happened. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking locker room. Yep. I caught <laughs> you accidentally stepped stone. into the leftmost shower, <laughs> which is reserved for <laughs> casual encounters. Caught with up with my lifters. old friend Gianni, and oh, he taught Gianni me how to explode that through the hips. Mm. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? The hips and the sphincter. Yo, how could I fucking quit you, bro? <laughs> I can, that would be so good. A fucking Brokeback Mountain with Italians, <laughs> bro, bro, back mountain, bro, yeah, what bro, is? back mountain. Well, yeah. you, you do literally better. have a broken back from squatting. Yeah, That's yeah, true. it's true. So it's a new, yeah. I've uh, never seen not, Brokeback it was, Mountain. It was not Neither from squatting I. weights. I'll say that. I've never seen it either. But I feel like we I've seen Brokeback Mountain. Culture. It's boring as shit. Doesn't he spit on I his hand say. and put it in his ass? Uh, yeah. When they're in the tent, yeah. I saw that, that movie. I saw that movie uh, when I was nineteen in Tel Aviv, Israel. Nice. Yeah, and uh, the, it was called was Har, the first time Har, Har broke back. Was that the first time you hooked up with a guy? No, but I watched. You it's a funny. Oh, is, is Israel a movie name? Is uh, Puss in Boots is just called Shrek's Cat? <laughs> is it? Yeah, <laughs> that's the Israeli that, title that, of Puss in Boots. That, that fucking rules. <laughs> That's um, awesome, dude. Yeah, honestly, I gotta say, like, maybe this is an unwoke take, but it's a pretty boring movie. It's like too slow. Yeah, no, you're supposed to cry. You're supposed to cry. Yeah, any yeah. movie, any movie that's got like, uh, it's not bad, but it's like, it's just, uh, it's a little too boring. You think? I heard they actually had sex. Penetrative? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, who that's, was the top? And that's who was how the Heath Ledger died, dude. Was Heath bottoming? Mm-hmm. Heath was top, of course. Yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal is prop. Don't, Jake don't people G say bottom. he's gay? No, people I, say I he's say gay. It. I say it all people the time. People say he's gay. Don't say that about him, dude. Did, wasn't he dating Taylor Swift? We're or gonna something? get sued. I was on the train and I I spotted across the train. It was packed, and some guy had a little Best Buy bag, and I saw the top of uh, Nightcrawler coming out of the bag, and I yelled across the train. I said, "That guy's gay." <laughs> <laughs> everyone was like, "What?" And I was like, "That the movie the movie you have that it's a gay guy." <laughs> And then you know I got off at the. Ne- they made me get off at the next. Oh really? They yeah. made them to get doctor who kicked you out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wasn't Jake G- being <laughs> such a nuisance? <laughs> Literally homeless people shit and beat yeah. off on the train. <laughs> Imagine getting bounced off a fucking MTA train. Oh, you know? Have you guys? You know what I read recently? I read that pussy posse article a couple couple <laughs> weeks yeah, ago. You, you've talked about it a bunch. So there's this girl who they talk about that Leo fucks. And they're like, yeah, she's like a, a prep school New York City girl. And when she was in high school, she kept like dating drug dealers from the Bronx and Harlem. Mm-hmm. And like she was like the bad girl in her class. So I Googled her to see if she's hot. Is she hot? It's Donald Trump Jr.'s wife. 
Nuh-uh. I swear to God. Shut dude. the fuck I up. I swear to God. She's mentioned in the Pussy Posse no. article. Really? Yeah, yeah. Are you the, making that up? Yeah, the New York Magazine Holy from like 97 shit. or 96. She used to fuck like... A Bronx drug she got dealers? run. She got run through by the pussy by the posse whole team. Hold on, and we gotta be to fuck. We gotta be real careful here because you described that as your discovery. I did. Someone else tell you <laughs> that Donald Trump Jr.'s <laughs> wife <laughs> was the pussy posse woman? No, or I read was that. that an organic piece of reporting by Adam Friedman. No, first of all, it, this would be your first an article. This would be your first big scoop. No, yeah. it's a scoop. I, I claim complete really responsibility claim, could, for it. Have you yeah. tweeted it yet? No. Why? Well, if he claims responsibility for it, you know for sure his ass stole that shit. <laughs> stole it from who? <laughs> Fucking Cronkite. It's a fun... <laughs> Thank you. Cronkite. <laughs> Cronkite. <laughs> the president is dead. By the way, uh, Donald Trump Jr.'s wife got, 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 got ran through by, by some uh, Moroccan goons in the Bronx. <laughs> got fucked by some Puerto Rican drug dealers <laughs> in the 90s. Um, when she was 15. Rules. Yeah, it rules, right? So you think he gets cucked now? He must. Um, they have like 20 kids. He must get cucked. They have a million kids. Um, but he must get cucked by black eyes. I mean, he looks really stupid. I, it, I Don Jr. is the one with the black hair or the blonde hair? Black hair. Yeah, but half those kids are actually Donald Sr.'s kids. <laughs> he en- enacted prima nocturnus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On his, That's probably true. <laughs> on his That's own children. True. Literally, he would. Like, yeah. in, in two he generations. His son. In a world In a world where there's, like, no laws, Donald Trump definitely fucked. A. Uh, absolutely fucks his daughter. I mean, that guy sucks and so bad that prima noctis on all his son's wives. <laughs> that guy sucks so bad that Donald constantly shows Jared favoritism over him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's how bad. Imagine that, guy that sucks. yeah, how much of bitch asses both your sons are. Yeah, I mean, for also, Jared to be for you to fi- have to find a new son and it's fucking Jared. He's probably just je- he's probably just jealous. Jared gets to fuck Ivanka, dude. You think he ever sucks Jared's dick r- r- freshly after he fucks Ivanka because the pussy juice is still on there? It's like, hey, commendatory, <laughs> fuck my daughter. Uh, I call him Drumpf. Oh, good. That's Whoa. good. The resistance. That is Whoa. resisting on your part. Computer, turn the lights on. Turn your lights on, dude. dude How do we get them to go been on? wearing a pussy hat this whole episode. We haven't mentioned it. A, what? A pussy hat? Yeah, no, I'm just Oh, oh the... the the oh, little yeah. the pink from, pussy hat. The pink pussy hat, yeah. yeah. But um but um but um but um but um that's the pink panther. But um but um but suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. I'm gay. Dick. I'm gay. I'm gay. Dick. I'm gay. Woo! Woo! The effect of US military ban on transgender troops remains to be seen. How is that a headline? I don't know. Oh uh Something's we, gonna happen. I don't know. What we it gonna is. riff on some headlines, the topical portion. Yeah, sure. Opinion: Dana Perino, advice for Sarah Huckabee Sanders from one female press secretary to another. Uh oh. Wait, she's Mike Huckabee's daughter. Yeah. Well, she's Bernie Sanders and Mike Huckabee. Yeah. <laughs> <daughter. laughs> I made that joke. I made that joke. <laughs> I, I made has, that joke. You fucking idiot. Yeah, come on. It's right there in the. You're gonna name. take the oh, fucking credit for that. I, I made that joke. That I was the first. I was, the, I was the first. I was the first. I was the first. Retard. You know, another one I made up. The plane should be made out of the out black, of the black box. box. No, that one's actually. I, you funny. know, here's what I made up. The plane should be made out of the Quran. <laughs> hey. Problem solved. Yeah. There we go. There you You're go. gonna fly that. Fucking Fucking piece of shit book, the pe- the pedophile. <laughs> I love I love when people like they say it's pedophile. Yeah, they're like Muhammad was a pedophile. Like you didn't read the Quran. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. It's not. in there. <laughs> but so I guess Muhammad fucked. Is that what happens? Muhammad. Yeah, everyone was a pedophile up until like 1980. Yeah, but Jesus didn't fuck. Muhammad dude. smoked weed though. Actually, Actually Tom Myers has a bit book. about it. He's like, you know, mm-hmm. people say that yeah, Muhammad... You <laughs> see that exchange on Twitter between that guy and Tom so Myers? Good. Yeah. Growing so up good. in Reisterstown, yeah. you were my favorite comic. <laughs> Tom's poor ass literally believed it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you see what he said? He <laughs> said? They were like, what's your most memorable... Uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Experience in comedy. comedy when he did that strip club in Vegas, and <laughs> yeah. there, there are pictures of Tom at that gig yes. with strippers. They're online. You can find them. They're, at least they're on Facebook. That are unbelievably and funny. It was, it was yeah, well, that it's so funny casinos. that he's in, he's so like trapped in that delusional world that he thinks that would be like a serious inquiry from somebody. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no. He thinks you're <laughs> sicking people on him. You're sicking no, no, your no, friends but he, on him. He believed that was real. He believed that he oh, there was yeah, a yeah, fan. Yeah. No, that's what I thought. Yeah. Grow, first of all, how long has Tom been doing comedy? Let's say ten years, right? 
So uh, someone probably longer. Someone growing up as a child <laughs> idolized Tom Myers. These fresh ones, yeah, these ones. Oh, my boy's eating edamame. Yeah, Tom. Tom did DM me. Guys, please stop harassing Tom that? Myers. He said, "Tell your." He said he'll never appear on the podcast. Oh yeah, yeah. First, I saw said, that. Yeah, yeah. I'll I love him, you. dude. I, I love him. I, you know, I invited him on. You actively engage in making fun of him. No, That's the kind I of shit that I fucking I hate think, the people. No, do. no, no. no like, no. oh, this autistic guy that I gawk at. People do that with BB. BB yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, they do it with all this shit where you're making fun of and exploiting a retarded person. <laughs> Just I'm fucking no, no, have, no, to, no, I have the that. fucking courage to say I, that that's I accept what you're that. doing. Right. Stop pretending like you have some affection for him. I accept that, but I also think that there is something. I am happy. There is I something like there is some sort of comedic, there, not comedic merit, but there is some sort of artistic merit to someone continuously running. Like it's like Sis- He's Sisyphus, Sisyphus, yeah, yeah. like rolling the boulder something up the hill. Sisyphus. Yeah. He's like literally every single one of his jokes is like he has a premise. Well, there's that, like what that Mickey said. Coachella video. Yeah, the where Mickey, goes Mickey up after Coachella him. video. Holy shit, Tom Myers. Yeah, yeah. You are the world's worst <laughs> comedian. Yeah, he every single punchline is such a letdown. Dude, poor Mickey's on some weird like, like uh, internet radio shit or some shit. I don't know what's going on. He had some vape shops. I mean, he probably was making like uh, he has to be low on ninety eight rock. I don't think so, man. No, then, then he didn't. I I can't imagine that you would be on like you would be the biggest voice on a fucking like multi market. He wasn't on that long. It was only like four or five years. No, it was He's longer. Probably than that, making dude. six figures. So. No, it's got to be longer than that because I used to listen to Mickey and Amelia. They had the afternoon show. He was only on the morning show for like four or five years. Yeah, but the afternoon show, you still make fucking money. I, think so. I used to listen to Mickey and Amelia for like years. I listened to that yeah. show. And he did. It was actually not a bad show. I he's know, a good. I he's a good it. broadcaster. Yeah, he is. He is. I fucked with that show. Yeah. Now no, we, but I, mean, I remember. I, I I think I was talking to Joe Robinson about it one time because Joe was employed by them, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Yeah, he's got to make like." It's a lot of money. It's six figures. You think so? Yeah, dude. I think if you're like morning zoo morning radio, radio yeah, yeah. You, you make, you make yeah. six but figures. But the guy's got a bunch a of fucking major kids city. And, shit. and it's like 98 Rock is the biggest radio station there, and it competes with DC 101. Mm-hmm. So how much longer do you think there's going to... Like, a rock station is going to... Do people listen to... Well, people are in the car. But like old... Yeah. Do who, I don't listen to rock stations. Do you know uh, what I mean? Rock like, stations? Like that kind yeah. of format. You also don't really commute. That's true. Yeah, I mean, but I mean I, young, do young mornings. people listen to that? Kind I, of shit? I would listen to that shit all the time, and it wasn't because like, ooh, I got to hear Mickey and Amelia. It's because I'd be driving home from right, work. Right, right, But now people are doing podcasts. They are doing podcasts, but I, I guarantee you, if I had to drive every day, I wouldn't fucking download podcasts That's to true. listen to You're on right. my commute. I would just listen to whatever's on the radio. I used to despise. Elliot in the morning. I fucking hated that show. Yeah, and yeah, I was, that guy's got a real annoying laugh. I would, li- <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> I would listen to it every day. Yeah, you know, I listen to the junkies. You ever fuck with the sports junkies, dude? No, I would. Only they would act, say donkey. I would, I would only listen to fucking uh, Elliot and and Mickey uh, and Amelia. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The junkies were on HFS. And the Tom Joyner morning show. Oh, that was a good one, dude. Yeah. Uh, Ricky Smiley, did you ever catch him? Or were you gone by by the time they started syndicating him? Um, the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. I don't know. I don't Shit know that one, dude. You ever? Li- oh, Adam, what morning shows did you listen to as a child? I listened to uh, Stern a lot when I was a uh, kid. Yeah, I never did. And my then I listened to well, in Vegas. They they, they had um, no, drive friends- time drive time magicians radio <laughs> magicians. My friend's dad and they, used to they, drive and us, and they would do a, a radio version of card tricks, which was somehow entertaining. People would listen to it. <laughs> my friend's dad go, used to drive okay, us, but now he's showing us the card. It, amazing, and it it's actually the card. is the one. It's the right one. Take you our know, word for it. I'm seeing. Us. I'm seeing Tommy at a wedding. Uh, next weekend, I'm seeing the Thursday. rabbi, the good rabbi. The, no, the street magician. No. Yeah, the good rabbi. Yeah, I'm seeing him. At, I'm going to L. A. for a wedding next weekend. <laughs> God damn! Um, Ever tell you my theory that David Blaine is the fourth property brother? David no. Blaine is in the Pussy Posse. Yeah, also mentioned. In is the this Pussy another Posse scoop article. of yours? David Blaine it's does not a scoop. Fuck. It no, seems like he some, fucks. David Blaine fucks a tremendous amount. Yeah, a tremendous. Oh, of course, magicians do. All magicians do. David Copperfield fucked uh, Claudia Schiffer, dude. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a magic thing mm-hmm. that they that they they make 
panties disappeared. Yeah, there was a oh, there was a kid in my school yeah. that was uh, nice. he would always he would do card tricks. You know, he'd always wear the tuxedo to every class and he'd do card tricks. And they caught him with like a shit ton of roofies. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you know they fuck. Yeah, oh, I think yeah. there definitely is some sort of cross section between magic and Pua culture. You know, yeah. they're but they're both trying to like run run one over on people. Mm-hmm. You know, oh yeah. Rub um, one out on people. Rub one, rub one out. Do you ever over. just beat off on someone? Um, like after, like to pull out and then come on someone. Yeah, that's like a normal sex. I'm, thing. I am asking. It's not beating off on someone. I mean, it's sometimes just, it's a little longer than immediately. You know. Oh, I like to leave it into the. No, last I've like second. I've straight up just jacked off on people. Me before. too. Oh, like mutual on masturbation? The bus. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just strangers on the bus? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on a, I like to just hang glide, and I beat off while I'm hang gliding, and then wherever my cut uh, my hands yeah, lands, they, they think a like, oh, bird shit on yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, what is that, an eclipse? <laughs> it has to uh, happen. I didn't know there was supposed to be a lunar, <laughs> a total lunar eclipse today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's some morbidly obese man jacking off. <laughs> Hopefully, he didn't have anything to do with that seagull that you shit on me. That's how I want to go out, dude. I want to fucking die beating off. In a, in a fucking... It has to have happened one time. A guy, a guy be- beating beat off, off on a hang glider. Right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And if not, I'm going to be the first. No, Who's the Guinness prob- Book of World Records for most times jacked off while hang gliding? Um, well, some Korean guy killed himself jacking off too much. Oh yeah. yeah, just in general, not a hang glider. Mm-hmm. There's, I think there was also a, a, a story about a, a, here, a Brazilian yeah. kid that like fucking locked himself in his room and jacked off like seventy two times in yeah. one day, and then his mom like opened the door and he's just dead. <laughs> and his fucking like pink ass dick, yeah. his like rug burned cock. <laughs> that shit's yeah. hilarious. Because I mean, after a I, true soldier if salute. You, if you come, if like I, I, I don't think I've ever come more than like five or six times in a twenty-four hour window. Oh yeah, that's I think the in, most you in can middle do. school I hit and, seven and, or eight. And and once you start crossing that line, it hurts. It well, it's not that your dick hurts. I mean, you can get through that. It's like physically exhausted. Yeah. Yes. You get, like chest pains and shit. And your dick like pumps out a couple dry ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like your no, dick's the dry trying. ones kind of hurt. Yeah. I saw yeah. some shit on Reddit that was like. I don't know what the sub subreddit was, but it was like um, it, it was like ogre cabins or something, or it was like fucking fail basements. It was like a listing of fat guys that are like, check out my setup, you oh, know, in no. a like, uh, computer room. <laughs> and, uh, somebody had like a computer set up, and then on the desk was like a toilet paper roll, <laughs> like the the, the whole the holder. <laughs> It's oh my god! So the toilet paper roll just sits there, <laughs> taking jack <laughs> lotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell uh, yeah, yeah, dude! Jack off. My man fucking took, <laughs> took some power tools to that motherfucker. That's a good yeah. setup, yeah. dude. We should celebrate him. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but there was one. It was like a schematic of like a uh, uh, design for like you know a, a gaming area, and it was a room you could seal yourself in, like you know. Like fucking came out like three feet from the wall, Mm -hmm. like a photo booth almost, with a recliner chair, and then there was something that attached to the guy's (gasps) dick in the drawing that just said urine collector slash ejaculator. Oh no! (laughs) What the fuck? This thing you just piss. Does he like the game (laughs) that much? Big fat guy. Oh my god! Yeah, that shit made me laugh. Do people people game in diapers? That is tragic, dude. <laughs> Do people get diped up to game? That guy planned. He fucking fired up AutoCAD 3D yeah, and yeah. fucking and put a thing to beat off and Hell piss. yeah. But it's just like the idea that like, because imagine it's by the thing- off chance he, he meets some like 80 pound blue hair woman who's right. the kind of woman that fucks a guy like that. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. And she comes over and sees the dick sucking machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, never mind. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm like, I think I can stay here. And then he just fucking blue is only shot to fucking <laughs> get a nut off. Nah, that woman would see that in like herself. Would she? Yeah, dude. They're gonna fuck that, dude. They're gonna get those fucking... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, but it's exactly like I expected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's one thing to, every once in a while, piss in a Gatorade bottle. But sure. to fucking plan it out is wild, dude. Although I've never beat off into a Gatorade bottle. No. No, I can't say I have I either. can't say that I have. Um, we're, we're, okay, how about this? Where's the strangest place you've beat off into? into? I jacked off in the woods one time. 
That's good. Into the woods? Well, I was into the, the woods. Play. I, was, I was walking around in the woods, and I was like, I could just jack off out here. <laughs> yeah, that's what the woods are for. They're yeah, yeah. woods. Dude. I used to beat off. At, I mean, this isn't super strange. I did it while driving. Oh, well. I was like speeding. I've, I've beat off while yeah, driving. I was speeding, and I was like, I should jack off right now. And I jacked off, just nutted all over the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you turned on by the horsepower? Um, no, it was just. It's like a funny thing to do. I went on a run from like I'd say about sixteen to maybe nineteen, where I felt like at first I thought it was funny, and then I had a compulsive thing where I had to jack off on planes. Really? Yeah. Because oh, I, I get, get bored because I'd like yeah, fly yeah. like cross country, and then when you're like sixteen, your libido's like super high. Like mm-hmm. five hours is like a long time to go and not <laughs> think about that, jacking yeah, off. Yeah. 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 Um. So I jacked off. On, I've jacked off on plenty of plans. I I got walked in on one time and I fucking did? elbowed the door back. Yeah, oh man, it was so scary. Was, I don't think they could tell that? I was yeah, jacking yeah, yeah, off, yeah. but I fucking elbowed the door back. It was this old lady they like. I could probably up. tell because you had your legs uh, pulled up over your head. And then yeah, the yeah, old yeah. lady and goes in. I was stuck in my own day. Yeah. <laughs> you're trying to beat off. In your own I was face. doing a self suck in, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, air, yeah. in an airplane uh, bathroom. <laughs> the old lady goes in there after you and just starts flicking her. I hope no one finds clit. out I do this. Her old long clit. Do old ladies' clits get longer? Yeah. Um, they get, I think, more dignified. Yeah. That's, <laughs> you know, it's funny. That's my is, opinion. <laughs> have you ever seen that picture of that old woman's pussy? But if you turn it upside down, it's a beautiful young woman's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about perspective, yeah. man. It's an uh, optical illusion. <laughs> very, very nicely done. <laughs> that is that beautiful. That is uh, Picasso, I believe. Suck Greatest Picasso. painter. Shut up, bitch. Suck Coxo. What, you, it's not? Yeah, no, he's not. It's definitely not, is it? Picasso's not the best painter of all time. He's really um, good. Yeah, he's, he's like the most Me. famous one. <laughs> Banksy. Jim Davis. <laughs> <laughs> no, the guy did Family Circus. Yeah, that's it. Another gay Jim. Those Indian guys in Times Square that'll draw your daughter with a big nose. <laughs> <laughs> what about those bullshit, like, spray paint that's the moon, but they yeah, just smear yeah, yeah, shit? Yeah. It's like, that shit's it's not so cool at all, dude. It's so funny, the shit that's like... I guess, I mean, maybe if... Because I do it when I'm out of town. I'll mm-hmm. go to, like, the, you know, fucking... Touristy place? Yeah, the touristy place, because fuck it, why not? But, like, they write your to name New York on rice? just being tricked. <laughs> I know, dude. It's so funny. You know those... Remember, there was a thing where they'd, like, make your name... It was, like, a you'd get, like, a painting or, like, a frame thing, your name out of, like, dolphins? Mm-hmm. Do you remember you that? You probably did that because you like stuff like that. No, I wasn't into that You're shit, You're like, dude. Daddy, can I get the <laughs> dolphin name? Daddy. No. I used to like, stop <laughs> being crap! <laughs> I used to ask my parents, them. boy, dolphins, the sharks. <laughs> I used to always ask my parents. Uh, <laughs> no. He got you in with dolphins and then fed it to sharks. <laughs> <laughs> he made you watch him destroy it. I just, I'd fucking hurt my balls scratching them just now. So I think we have to end the show. That's what do you fair. mean you hurt them? You hurt the actual testicle? Or yeah, you yeah. You yeah, scratch? I, too, yeah, I scratch too hard. My balls I do that me. sometimes. And I'm sick to my stomach. Sometimes uh. I'll stretch. I'll sp- Spread my balls out, like real stretch them out and get a nice scratch. You guys ever do that? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I like to put a bunch of uh, those rubber bands you use to keep <laughs> lobsters from pinching you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Around my ball sack. I like to hang my, just take clothespins and put my balls on a, on a line and just yeah, let them, yeah, you know, yeah. really stretch them out till they're translucent. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Ball stretching is like a fetish thing, right? And then get a, and get a back scratcher. That would actually probably feel really good. I know we're doing bits, but if you were to stretch your nutsack out and then have one, have someone go at it with a back scratcher, that would feel good. And that's the show, everyone. <laughs> All right. Good night. And that's the show, everyone. <laughs> All right. Good night. And that's the show, everyone. <laughs> All right. Good night. And that's the show, everyone. <laughs> All right. Good night. And that's the show, everyone. <laughs> All right. Good night. And that's the show, everyone. <laughs> All right, good night. And that's the show, everyone. <laughs> All right, good night. And that's the show, everyone. <laughs> All right, good night.